Hello, and welcome to another Ink Show on GottaBeMobile.com. My name is Dennis Rice. Uh, the little application that we're going to talk about today is called My Own Font Tool. Now, My Own Font Tool is a Microsoft tablet PC uh, Power Toys. And let's talk just a little bit about Power Toys. Um, as you can see over on this web page here, Microsoft has a number of uh, what they call uh, Power Toys for the tablet PC. And I'll just quickly scroll down this list. Um, but I'll give you this link uh, actually in the post itself so that you can go check these out but there's lots of little games and little applications um, primarily intended to show examples of using ink or examples of you know how to write a particular application for tablet um, some of these things are actually sort of training applications to teach you how to use your tablet um, a little bit better as well so um, that's what Power Toys are all about. Now, Microsoft periodically holds Power Toy contests where they ask developers or even fledgling developers to submit little small applications, you know, whether it be a little game or a little utility or whatever. So keep an eye out there um, periodically for those Power Toy um, contests. Now, the My Own Font. Uh, Power Toy. Basically, what it does is it creates a true type font from your handwriting, puts it on your computer like any other true type font that you can use in applications. There's three basic steps to my own font. Uh, first of all, you enter in the characters, actually, once again, in your handwriting. You adjust spacing, which would be character spacing, word spacing, line spacing, etc. And then you actually compile it to a true type font file. Uh, excuse me, true type font file, and actually puts it out there as a .ttf. Uh, file. After that, you install it to your computer, or you can actually save it and install it to other computers. And then, of course, uh, you're going to use it. Now, we're going to go over a couple of examples about how to use it in Microsoft Word, and we're going to talk about a little bit how maybe to apply it to your computer um, as a theme. All right. But first of all, I want to go over here just real quickly and go to the uh, this just about my font tool for tablet PC. Again, this application was written in about 2003 or 2004, and the author's name was um, uh, Philip Lanier. Okay. So let's go over and look at the application itself. As you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, we have three different tabs here. Uh, right to create the characters, adjust spacing to obviously adjust the spacing, and then the font compilation. You have a number of pen options that you can use. Uh, I'm going to stick with the medium tip eraser to erase things and the selection cursor, although I haven't really figured out a good reason why you would want to use that. Um, you have a setting over here to determine whether you want to compile the font as actual or actually write it as a pressure sensitive font as well. So this process is real easy. Basically what you do is you go through here and you start writing the characters as they're indicated. So A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. You can see, you know, basically the process. Now the zoom tool comes in real handy. Zoom capability comes in real handy here because sometimes it's kind of hard to write these characters in a small space and get them right. Um, you know, I would do a better job writing them, you know, for example, like this on a larger font. Okay. Now, just for expediency purposes, I'm not going to go through this whole thing. Um, one feature that this does have is you can actually save this into projects. So you could have multiple people with different handwriting, uh, you know, continue to adjust the spacing, etc. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up um, an existing uh, project tell it I don't want to save that particular project and I already have one out here it's called Dennis.mof my own font file I guess and let me zoom up this just a little bit so you can see I have actually filled out all of the characters on the screen okay now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to the adjust spacing screen now what it does is it takes this text listed up here and it actually puts it in the font. So see, this is your first look at what my handwriting font will, will look like. And now you've got a number of buttons. Over here we have line spacing. Uh, down here we have word spacing and character spacing. So let's just play with these a little bit. Let's say I want my characters to be a little bit closer together. Do that, But I want my words to actually be, well let's put the words a little closer together as well. But you get the point. Um, we can increase the line spacing, make the you know the distance between the lines a little more or a little less or whatever so that's just another sort of adjustment tool you have here then you go over here to the compile font and here you're allowed to give the font a name um, it has an author there and then this actual memo is what you're going to actually see the displayed font in. There's a number of different choices you have here, a memo, a letter, a poem, or et cetera. But let's do this. Now, this takes just a second. But let's, let's click on Compile My Font. So, again, once again, we went in and we entered all of our characters. And you have plenty of editing capability, et cetera, in there where you can you know, erase and change if you don't like the way a particular character looks. And even after we've done the compile, when we see the actual results, we can still go back and do some editing. So you see it runs through a few little gyrations here. And there we go. We have my font 
uh, created actually with the text in that letter. Okay. Now I can go in here and I can adjust the size. So let's make this about 16 point, I'd say. And oh, I don't know. Let's, let's instead of looking at the memo, what would it look like in a in a letter? And once again, you see I've got actual <clears throat> excuse me true type font text here, um, and that if I would actually go in and type. A particular letter uh, you know for example you can actually go in here and enter in custom text as well we're not going to go through all that right now okay so now we have our font let's say we're pleased with it and we can do a couple of things uh, first of all we want to save the font to a file it gives us the opportunity to to do that as you can tell I've already saved this one but I'll save it again and ask me do I want to place it yes okay so now I've actually saved a font called um, Dennis Block Okay. Now, all that did was save it in a folder. <coughs> Excuse me, the true type font. So now I'm going to actually say install on this folder. It said it could not be it could be a conflict with existing font because I've already installed it. But at that point, it would basically put it in your Windows fonts file. Uh, excuse me, fonts folder. All right, so if I go through here now and look through, I should have, there it is, Dennis's block, which is an actual true type font. So if I double click it, like on any true type font, you'll see I have it installed as a regular font. Okay, so now let's do something with this. Let's go over here to Microsoft Word, and as you see, I've got a letter here, just a, a letter I wrote to my uh, Property Owners Association, and I want to use this font. So I can highlight all of that text, and I can go up here to the font selection, and let's go find somewhere in here. Got too many fonts. There it was, Dennis Small Block. Okay, Dennis Block, I should say. So as you see now, I actually have the entire letter in that font. If I want to bold parts of it, I can bold parts of it. Let's say I wanted to take this paragraph and I wanted to add italics. You know, now there's an italicized version of that. Okay? So, kind of neat, you know, little fun thing to do, write letters, and, and in essence, it is in your own um, um, own handwriting, but this is editable text with the keyboard. And as you, if you went in here now, and I'll just use the, the uh, tip here to do this, but if I say hello, you see it actually typed it, it actually typed it right there in my handwriting. Okay. Other thing that you can do is use this in some system uh, display properties. So I'm going to go out here in my properties, <clears throat> excuse me, to my system display properties. It's been a little slow. Okay. Go to the appearance tab and then I'm going to go to the advanced uh, appearance settings. And if you see what I can do is I can choose some things. For example, let's say my if I choose the actual menu choice by tapping on it, I can actually go out here and change this font and say I want this font to be in Dennis Block. Okay, and you see what it did. It actually indicates in there. We'll see it a little bit better. I'm going to actually bold that so it's a little easier to see. Uh, let's change the active window as well. Let's again back up here, find Dennis Block. There it is. Click OK. All right, so now I'm going to click OK. And now XP has to go, Windows XP has to go out and do all the applications. So this, once again, takes just a moment. Now, I've played around with this quite a bit. And sometimes, I mean, I actually had an entire theme, which is another feature of my own font. You can actually create an entire theme based upon your handwriting font. And, <laughs> excuse me, sometimes things look a little bit funny. Uh, but overall, you know, I mean, I actually had a theme at one time that I was pretty pleased with. Um, but that was probably two or three tablet PCs ago. So now let's go back into the tool. And number one, I want you to notice up here in the title bar, your menus and the active title bar are now in my own font. So if I go here and I go to help, uh, whoops, that was the wrong place to go for that. Okay, well this doesn't actually have it, but the bottom line is any um, any applications or any uh, anything that uses you know these menus or the or the active title bar or et cetera will show in my font. Okay, so anyway, that's my own font tool. Um, kind of a neat little toy, um, but you know quite a quite a nice little uh, application of of the use of ink. So uh, once again, the link for for this and all the other Microsoft Power Toys, um, actually this web page right here, will be up on on our site and. Um, we hope you'll download some of these power toys, play around with them, um, experiment a little bit. Thanks a lot, uh, and once again, thanks for your patronage of gotabemobile.com, and we'll see you on the next Ink Show. Bye-bye.